yet another interesting video for all of you. Um, so this video is specifically about my morning routine and um, you know a little bit of um, uh, bits and pieces about uh, what I do on uh, my day off on Saturday um, when my husband still uh, goes for work and um, at the end of the video I'm also going to teach you how I make bengan ka bharta so I'm going to share with you my bengan ka bharta recipe so please stay tuned so it's 6 30 in the morning and uh, this is how the view looks like outside my window of the living room it's beautiful and the sun is just rising and since it was snowing yesterday it's all white and yellow from the sun um, I quickly get freshen up and take shower every morning I first take a um, shower before I do anything else so um, after that I just grab a glass of water and this is a habit that I've recently uh, started because um, obviously you all know that uh, drinking water is is really good for health so I just grab a glass of water and sit to check my emails or any important um, you know if there's any important email or information that I need to keep in mind for for that particular day um, so I just kind of check all of that in like 10 to 15 minutes until I drink my water and then I start my um, morning routine. So now that I've checked all my emails and stuff, I'll start preparing breakfast. And today I'm preparing sabudana khichdi uh, for breakfast as I wanted some change of taste. So I'll quickly prepare sabudana khichdi and chai until my husband takes uh, gets fresh and takes shower. Um, usually I also prepare lunch at the same time when I prepare breakfast. But since today my husband has a meeting over lunch, um, I'm not preparing a special lunch. Uh, for myself, I might just have a little sabudana khichdi with some fresh made smoothie um, at that time. After I'm done with um, making the breakfast, I'll just head to do puja. Now my husband is all uh, is setting up the mandir for puja. I'll just hand over hand over the flowers to him, um, and we'll together do puja. After we are done with the breakfast and my husband leaves for work, I um, water the plants. My husband and I both love uh, green plants and. Uh, uh, to plant herbs but we don't have a balcony or a deck to put them so we usually put these plants on the corners of the living room or the parapet of the living room where they get enough sunlight so I quickly water the plants 
so that's pretty much my morning routine um after i'm done with watching the plants i usually sit to read something i really love reading um or i finish up my pending work or i edit my youtube videos and all of that so next let's uh let us see how i make uh, the bangan ka bharta that i had promised you in the beginning of the video so let's get started with that It's a very simple recipe since it doesn't require too much of uh, ingredients in it. So let's start by cutting um, some onions. I don't chop them like fine, too fine. Um, these are like uh, smaller than the medium chops, but um, yeah, that's how I chop the onions. One uh, medium-sized onion is more than enough to serve two to three people. Next, I take a medium-sized tomato, and again, I chop it to uh, small to medium-sized um, uh, size. And one tomato is good enough for uh, this quantity. And next, depending on your um, spice taste, uh, you can just add a green chili. Just chop it finely and add it. And the very important ingredient in bengal ka bharta is um, garlic. So what I've done is I've taken a few cloves of garlic. You can take depending on your taste and just uh, roughly chop the garlic. And uh, that's it. You're just ready to go. And I'll just use ginger when I'm um, making the bang uh, make bengal ka bharta. Now that our ingredients are ready. Um, I have a bowl of chopped onions, tomatoes, I have some garlic chopped and I have a green chili chopped as well. Uh, the bangan that uh, I am going to use for the bharta, I bake the bangan. You can also roast it on a grill or um, you know if you have a gas stove, gas stop ga uh, gas. And uh, I baked it, I just wrapped it up on a foil paper. First I just coated it with oil and then I wrapped up on a foil paper and baked it. And that's how I made the bangan roasted. Now um, I just put some oil in the pan and I grated ginger in it. And after that I added some cumin seeds, a little bit of asafoetida for um, taste. And now I'm adding the chopped garlic uh, to the oil. The garlic gives the base taste to the bangan ka bharta. Um, it is like um, if if there's less garlic in the bharta, you might you might feel a little less pungent or you know less punch in the in the bharta. So garlic is the most important. Uh, now I add onions to it. And I'll just cook the onions until it's like a little soft and it turns out to be um, light pink kind of a color. Once the onion is soft um, and cooked, we'll just add tomatoes to it and we'll let them cook. Um, usually what I do to cook it faster is I just add um, a little salt to it. Um, so, you know, once you add salt to your cooking ingredients, it cooks it faster and, uh, you know, it saves some time. So I usually do that. You can do. You can try that too, and uh, let me know if uh, it makes any difference. So once that is done, um, I'll just, you know, wait until the uh, tomatoes and the onions are um, nice and soft.
Now when I feel that the tomatoes are soft enough to put other ingredients in, I'll start putting the spices. So I put two uh, spoons of um, chili powder, one and a half spoon of coriander powder and a few pinch of um, turmeric powder and then I add the green chilies that I had chopped and I'll mix, mix the thing well. If you want, you can um, avoid turmeric if you're not a very big fan of it. I usually add turmeric to it, doesn't matter too much if you don't want that color. Now I just added um, uh, one teaspoon of garam masala to it. So now once the tomatoes and onion um, gravy is ready, um, I'll just add in the roasted bangan to it and since the bangan is already roasted it's cooked uh, we uh, just have to mix the gravy well with the, with the bangan and let it set in for a while and uh, once that's done your bangan ka bharta is almost ready to go and I'm just going to um, make some parathas to go with it you can also make uh, you know uh, bajri ka uh, roti to go with it whatever you like so I'm just going to make like our normal um, North Indian style parathas with it I'm using oil to make the parathas today I also sometimes make uh, use ghee to make my parathas it's good for health so but today I'm making it um, in oil and that's it and you can also make like bajri ki roti or uh, makai ki roti to go with your uh, bengan ka bharta and uh, Yes, that's so all. please try this recipe of bengan ka bharta at home and let me know how you like it. And also since it's the Valentine's Day week, I wish you all a very very happy Valentine's Day. May you all stay happy and very very blessed wherever you are. Please like, comment and subscribe to my channel and let me know what kind of more videos would you like me to put up. Thank you so much. This is Ruchi Singh signing off. Bye.